Hello everyone and welcome to software testing with Jamil and today's topic is um, how to install uh, Eclipse IDE so normally Eclipse is used for development and automation etc so but in my case I will, I'm using it for uh, automation software automation so uh, uh, I use it for, selen uh, using, uh, for selenium to develop my automation tests so uh, let's crack on and download the Eclipse. So if you go to any search engine and type in Eclipse, uh, that should bring up the uh, website for Eclipse. So if you click on download, right, once you got the download there, it should display at uh, it is display download 64 bits i mean my window is 64 bit windows 64 bit but uh, if you do have any other you could download on that as well so uh, what i would normally do even if you do if, if yours is 12, 64 bit i would go to uh, download pages and that download page gives you an option of downloading on windows 64 bit Mac 64, Linux 64, uh, so uh, and there's a variations of these uh, downloads. So you got the uh, for Java developers. Uh, that's why I'd be downloading. So this is just for uh, ID with like Git and XML, Maven. So it gives me all these uh, all the uh, plugins I need for uh, doing the automation. And then you have the C++ and then the Further down, you have a PHP developer, PHP developer. Yeah, so what we need to do is download the Java, Java uh, IDE for Java developers. So if you click on 64 bit, that should bring up the download page and then click on the download. And that should start downloading. Uh, that will take probably a couple of minutes to download the whole file depending on obviously the connection and so after a couple of minutes it has downloaded so now what we need to do is check that in the download folder and the zip folder and extract it to our given location and so we have the uh, Eclipse downloaded now so we need to extract that extract all and I would go to extract it in my automation folder, which is automation. And then click on extract all and that should start extracting. So we're almost there now, it's almost, almost complete. And the folder has been created. Yeah, so if you double click on the new we created the Eclipse folder that should bring us all the configurations and features and all these folders that come along with Eclipse but the one we're interested in is the Eclipse application so if you double click on that and uh, that should bring up start up the Eclipse IDE This will take a few minutes, depending, and especially with the first time with the setup, it takes a bit longer than usual. Yeah, so as you could see here, there's a, um, it says welcome to Eclipse ID for Java developers, and it gives you quite a few options there uh, for the beginners. So this is it for now. So what I'll do in my next video, i show you, just go through a little tutorial and show you how to create your first project and run an Eclipse. Uh, thank you for now and like my uh, if you like this video like it and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to see the next video thank you very much